Okay, welcome back. This is part two of trying to do the acrylic mesh nails. And uh, so let's get it finished. Alrighty, I'm almost done. Okay, so I took my nails off and cleaned them up. And I've got two coats of this on there. You can't see it. It's Sally Hansen Complete Care. Because as you know, they're healing up. They're doing a lot better. The thumbs are about healed up. This one little side looks like he could grow out some more. These fingers, they look pretty rough, but they are doing better. And the rest of them look just fine. Uh, this one here, the little top layer kind of lifted off. And I can't remember if I, when that happened. It was that way this morning. So I don't know if when I pulled it off, it stuck and came off. But anyway, so... Here's what the nails look like. Um, we'll see how it works. Uh, this was a mess. Um, I do plan on putting these on. Let's see, I do plan on putting them on. Let's see how that's gonna fit. It's kind of a lot of bulkier than other nails, so we'll just have to see. I might not like it. Granted, I used a size one instead of a size two. Uh, and I filed and filed and filed and cut down and everything. I ended up, um, so, and then the, this one, I think it's like I went a size five, five, and I normally, without polish, would probably do a size four, maybe, because I was just using spare nails that I found. I didn't want to waste nails. These here, I did scrounge around, and I found some of the same brand. I didn't have to do anything different. Um... So these were a lot more work than just regular foil. I was not expecting it to be as much work as it was. So let me see if we can fix the camera right. Uh, and okay, can you see my fingers? Yes. So let's get started. Um, all we've really got to do is put on our little tabs. I did not put them on this time because I wanted you guys to see my natural nails, that they were healing up and doing just fine with the press on. Um, the thing, these two pointers, I still have to be super careful taking them off. Uh, and they were kind of, um, the tip of them were kind of textured, but that's still, when I, the last manicure I got was a couple months ago, she used a drill to them and uh, to file them. And they're still recovering from that. So I don't like this kind of teeny tiny nail. I don't think, maybe I do. That's okay one. Let's use this one. But I like as much of my nail covered as possible. Let's see. Okay, can you see? Oh, I have had a comment already on my other video wanting to know how I did my housework. Well, I do it just fine. I do it just fine. Okay. Trying to throw the plastic out. Okay. So let's just go ahead and get these all on real quick. It won't take me very long. I don't like those teeny tiny ones. Um... But I might have to use one on this hand because, maybe not. What I do with the ones that I don't use, I use the adhesive for my little nail stands. So. Probably that one here. That happens sometimes. Let's see, we're doing the third one. Okay. The next one will be this one. Let's fix the camera a little bit better. Okay, that's better. 
It seemed like I was, felt like I was getting out of frame a lot. And I did kind of just file the top of them a little bit. I don't really like them getting too long uh, because like I said, I want as much of the nail covered as possible. And one, two, three, one, two, three. Looks like these are missing some. I must have used them without realizing it. Uh-oh, wrong one. Let's put that one here. I like a bigger one for that one. I wasn't paying attention. That really should have been number two. And not number three. Now, I would like kind of a bigger one for this finger to cover as much as possible. I think I can use that one on the other hand. Uh, I want this as much of this nail covered too. Let's see. Well, I would have liked more covered, but because like these edges, I have to be super careful taking them off. They kind of, this very top part, has got the top layer missing. There's a little bit of nail there on my nail bed, but it's not much. And so I try and want to cover as much as possible, but I'll just have to be careful. I didn't. So then we use the biggest one for the thumb. There's some solid ones too that I like and I've ordered. I did, and it seems like they have more sizes and the thumb is even bigger. They might be for toes too though. Now, let's take the pinkies off. Did that one off? That one's kind of sticky. Oh, and a little bit of an update. Uh, remember last week we did those pink and nude colors? Um, and I think I do like the Apri better. Um, I cut them down for work. And... Um, on the, one of these here, I was kind of pushing it in to try to give it that coffiny curve shape. And it did kind of break by Tuesday night, but I was going to change them anyway. But I've never had uh, the Apri's break like that. Of course, the Apri's are gel, where those were acrylic or something. I did order me some Gel X from Aldi, but not Aldi. Aldi AliExpress. And so we will try those. They're the pinkish and they're medium length and they sort of got a diagonal top at, cut at the top. And you know, of course it's gonna be two months before they show up. So at least a month. Okay. Try the next one. And with this glue that came with those. I really like them. And I've been super tempted. I'm seeing some like already done nails on um, uh, Amazon. And it's kind of tempting to do those because like when you're in a hurry and don't have the time to do any painting or anything, you can just, um, you know, have them already done. Of course, I'm kind of worried. They're not cheap. Like you could buy a um, you know, it's less than 240 They end up costing you more than like the Apri's and the Apri's, you can just pop those dudes on and work by their self too. Granted, they don't have a design on them or glitter, but, um, 
I'm thinking I'd rather just have pay more and buy that pre now that I think about it. Oh, and what I do, um, I use this purple color for the solid one. And at first I used sort of a fuchsia color because I grabbed it and thought it was purple, but then I put the purple on top. Because I wanted purple because I kind of wanted to match these threads a little bit. And what else we got? I did add some of this, um, I guess it's Color Craze, LA Colors uh, glitter on these. And I put this glitter on top of the brown or the gold one. And to help it out, I used this color of gold for that now so so let's get going on these two because I hope these fit I just just sort of I sort of have tried them on um, so they seem kind of bulky so I don't know we're gonna we might have to figure out something else to do to get that mesh on but I got a whole box of mesh we have plenty of opportunities so let's just hold these on for a minute. And if you forget to take the little tab off, it will be kind of a uh, slicky. It'll be kind of slick and won't want to stick at first. So that's how you know that you forgot to take it off. Oh, and one other thing, as you probably guessed, I ended up having to throw that brush away. I went downstairs and by the time I came up, I remembered that brush and it was, um, you know, that acrylic was solid in it. And uh, I tried to soak it in acetone and it just messed up the handle and didn't come out. And so, I don't know, maybe you guys have some idea, uh, know how to do that. Are we supposed to like dip that in acetone between nails and stuff or how's that work out? It's so I'll have to watch some videos on it. So I was kind of disappointed because that was a very pretty uh, brush. I think the kit was like $14.99 or something like that. I don't know if it was a good deal or not. But I do know the powders were not labeled. And um, it wasn't very much of anything. And I mean, I don't know. It might be a good deal. I just have to be more careful. I do need the powders labeled though. And it might be not worth the trouble for me because I know my hands got irritated from it. So I'll probably need to try to get me some gloves if I'm gonna be doing acrylic to keep my hands from getting irritated from that acrylic on it. Oh, and I do have gel top coat on these because I'd use so much gel on the others. I just went ahead and did gel top coat on all of them. And I went ahead and did gel base coat on these solid colors. Like I said, I had so much gel on the others. Um, sometimes I just use, um, you know, plain, which that's what I like, but with these having acrylic and other stuff on there. I went ahead and did that now. So, okay, now it's the time of testing. We're fixing to do one of these ones that we made because we made this to wear, not just to look at. Okay. Took the little tab off. Here's the first one. Oh, and the pinky one, it, one of them, the little threads would not uh, stay down and so I decided well just I was just going to throw it in the trash and I threw the other one in the trash too to kind of match and I kind of um, regretted that decision um, but I never could find it in the trash and it, I got tired of digging so I said forget it we'll just do a solid color so I'm not sure I'm liking this look how thick and bulky these are anyway it's okay we'll give it a try for a day so I guess what the deal is, you do it on someone's hand, then you can file it down. Well, we didn't do any filing, and so it's kind of chunky, and look at that. That's not very good. So I don't know. I don't think I'm going to want to wear that. <laughs> I don't know. Look at it. It's just awful. It's awful. Um... 
It's our phone. It looked pretty on the container, but see how big that is? It sticks right up where these others are nice and flat. So I'm going to take that off. <laughs> I'm taking that off. We're not going to wear that. Let's take, do the pointer. Let's see if it's just as bad or if it's not as bad. I'll have to come up with a different nail for that one. The pointer. Yeah, I can't, I can't wear, I can't wear that. Let's see the pointer, if that's going to do the same thing. Yeah, that's just going to be big and bulky. We're going to have to figure something else out, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and... I guess I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to figure out something to put on my other fingers or take these others off. Well, I need something purple and gold, that's for sure. But anyway, it was fun. Now we know these are just too big and bulky to do as press-ons, I think. See, they don't fit good. Probably, you know, if you could do it on someone's finger and file and stuff, uh, it would be okay. But these just, uh, and they're just too big and bulky. We gotta figure something else out. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna put these little stickers uh, anyway i'll figure out i'll probably have to take that sticker off of that one and i can leave the ones on that have the uh color and i can figure out what i'm gonna do so i will see you guys next time so i call this a fail because they're just you know it might have looked okay with all the stuff that i done with it but it is just too uh big and bulky to stick on a nail so i'm gonna go ahead and put my thumbs on and I might do some uh, other full for these two fingers. And, but you guys don't want to watch that because um, it just takes too long. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.